guys. It's me, Nez. I'm going to read from John chapter 6, starting from 51. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. So Jesus is the living bread that came down from heaven. And we know that he is the bread of life. So the the bread imagery is um, a description of his flesh, his body, that he sacrificed for the for the world. He gave his life for the world. And it's interesting, it says, I will give, he gives his flesh for the life of the world. So this was like a lifeline for the world. Um, the world was 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 in darkness it was dead you know um we are were we were dead in our sins but he he sacrificed gave his flesh um his flesh or his body was crucified so that we may have life so that whosoever in the world who calls upon the name of jesus who believes on the finished work of god on the cross that he died for the sins of all once and for all, he died once and for all, for many, that they will receive eternal life. So he says, which I will give for the life of the world. This is like a resurrection power, you know, his blood um, that was shed, his flesh that was broken and bruised for the iniquities of the world who knew that the death of Christ will bring life to the world. Amen. So let's go to verse 53. Then Jesus unto, said unto them, Verily, verily, like truly, truly, I say unto you, except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Whoso eat, eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life. And I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. Okay, let me just stop there and go back. So it says, this is a, a true saying. Truly, truly, verily, verily, I say unto you. Jesus is saying, except you eat, like if you don't eat his flesh, the flesh of the son of man, the specific, his flesh. He's speaking about himself. He's the son of man, the son of God and the son of man. If you don't eat his flesh or drink his blood, you, you have no life in you. This is like the life of God, eternal life, meaning you're dead. He was speaking to um, the Jews there, like you're dead. And this is referring to everybody, everyone in the world, right? You're dead unless you eat the flesh of the son of man or drink his blood. You have no life in you. It's like, apart from Christ, you are dead. Spiritually dead. And first is the spiritual and then the physical, right? If you're spiritually dead, if your spiritual condition hasn't been cured, because it's, we, have all, we all have a sin condition. If that hasn't been cured, by Jesus Christ. You you remain dead spiritually and you definitely you'll die physically. In the in Genesis, um they they had disobeyed God. They didn't believe God when he said, Don't eat this tree, but they because of their unbelief, they took of the partook of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil instead of the tree of life. They chose death instead of the tree of life, instead of life. So we're all dead. So he's like, This is a solution. Um, Adam and Eve have rejected the tree of life out of the wrong tree. So now we, God has sent Jesus presenting his body, himself, presenting his flesh and his blood. He is the tree of life and saying, hey, partake of me so that you may have life. Eat of me, drink of me. So this is a true saying, you, you don't have any life in you because without the tree of life, you're dead. So this also makes reference to, of course, his sacrifice. He is the lamb of God that was slain before the foundation of the earth. 
right? He's a lamb of God, the Passover lamb. And the Passover lamb, once it was slain for all, only one, only one lamb was slain for all those who were um, um, celebrating or um, following the feast. So uh, the Passover lamb, once it was slain, it was eaten by all, like it was shared amongst those who were there celebrating, right? And that makes sense because the lamb that was slain, you eat of him, you eat of it. It's not just you slay it and then you just, you know, the, the body is wasted or the, Jesus is the Passover lamb. He was slain for the, our sins and we now then eat of it. We eat the meat. Okay, because in verse 55, if we read on, for my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. So he is the bread of life. His blood shed is the drink that we drink for eternal life and his flesh which is the bread it's also the meat making reference to him being the lamb of god so he is nourishment for us it's also an imagery of him re-ingesting him i know some people some religions believe oh this is actually like you know transubstantiation substantiation that all oh, the the bread and the become his real flesh no 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 he's not talking about that that this um physical these are spiritual matters he's um he is communicating so his flesh is meat indeed the lamb the lamb meat <laughs> So he that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and I in him. And how do you eat of the meat? How do you drink of his blood? Through faith. Okay? Through faith. He that eateth my flesh, drinketh my blood, through faith dwelleth in me and I in him. Do, to do that is just to believe in Jesus. To believe. Have faith. That he is who he is. He is the drink. He is the meat. He is the bread of life. That verily, verily, if I don't eat the flesh of the son of man and drink his blood, I have no life in me. So you believe that you need him. You need him he, as a savior. And that he shall save you. He shall give you eternal life. When you believe. When you have faith in him and trust in him so verse 57 as the living father had sent me i live by the father so he that eateth me even he shall live by me so he gives life you know the father and the spirit and and jesus they are one they're the godhead so the son of man when jesus you know incarnated now living on earth his life is in the Father. He lives by the Father. You know, man shall not live by bread alone, like physical bread, but by every word that proceeds from the, from the mouth of God. So Jesus, is, his meal, his, his meat, his, his bread was the word of God, his Father. What the Father spoke to him, that gave him life. The word of God. That's what we live by. And Jesus is the word of God. Unto us. So we live by him. We live by him because he abides in us. He abided. He abides in the father. And we abide in him. And he, the father abides in him. And he abides in us. So we live. By Jesus. Jesus. His life is in us, so we therefore live by him. He is our hope of glory, hope of our calling. His, he is that treasure in our earthen vessel. His spirit quickens our mortal body. 
These are all the life within us once we've believed. We are partakers. We partake of him. We actually don't only not only partake. We have a full course meal and that being Christ. It's like an all you can eat buffet, right? We can eat as much as we want, drink as much as we want. It's all for the taking. And that's all Christ. <laughs> Christ is a substance. So he's our nourishment. We live by him. This is that bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. All this food that we see here is eternal life given unto us through Christ. He nourishes us forever, giving us life forever, eternal life, everlasting life. Amen. So, you know, that scripture that says man shall not eat by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. It shows that as essential as bread or food is to us, God is Jesus is. His word is. Because his words, his words are the words of eternal life. That's what Peter said. Like, where should we go? It's like, are you going to leave? Jesus like, are you going to leave like these disciples that left? Right? They're like, where shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Man shall not eat by bread alone, but by the words of God. By the word of God. Because Jesus is the word of God and he has the words of life. His, he is life. What he speaks is eternal. And for us, we are saved. We have eternal life because we have eaten of him. We have drunk of his blood. We have believed. So he is our mate. He is our food, the bread of life. He is the lamb that was slain. And we have feasted on him. He says, come and sup with me. Do you think it was just, uh, he was saying, I am the supper. (laughs) I am the food. Come, 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 come. Come and dine. Literally all you can eat. I want to sustain you, nourish you. Because I want to give you life. He has given us eternal life, but he fuels our life now. You think you can get through the days without Jesus? We need him more than we even think. Okay, so I just wanted to bring out, you know, how Jesus... It really is our everything. It literally is our everything. Not because we make him our everything. He is our everything. He just is. So, bon appetit. <laughs>